Hi and welcome to Enjoy Stampin' with Robin. Today we're going to make this gatefold card that uses the Razzleberry Lemonade Designer Series Paper and the Bird on a Branch stamp set. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing you're going to need is a piece of rich Razzleberry cardstock that measures 8.5 by 5.5 and, and you're going to score that at, at 2 and 1 8 and 6 and 3 8 and I've already gone ahead and done that to save on time. So um, we'll just go ahead and burnish our score lines. Make sure those are nice and crisp. And then for our panels, which are two and one eighth inches by, of course, five and a half, we're going to layer that in pumpkin pie. So you're gonna need two pieces of pumpkin pie cardstock that measure one and 15 sixteenths by five and one quarter. And you're also going to need two pieces of rich um, of Razzleberry Lemonade Designer Series paper and they measure one and three-fourths by five. So we're going to go ahead and layer our designer paper onto our pumpkin pie and then onto our card front. I really like the gatefold cards because they're a bit unique and um, also with this real bright cheerful paper. It's really, really cute. Oops, I'm not going to get that on there straight. Not too bad. Okay. Okay. And for our card front, we're going to use the um, Bird on a Branch stamp set, and we're going to use all of the stamps that are in there. Uh, the Thinking of You that's included, we're going to use it on the inside of the card. Um, you're, we're going to actually stamp the branch on a piece of Whisper White that measures three and a half by one and three quarters. And so, um, let me get the get these stamps out. I'm going to ink up the branch in our In Color Soft Suede. Set this aside for just a minute. Okay. Uh, leave this out. We're going to get a scratch paper and the little spritzer things, the little dots. It looks like um, the effect of our little spritzer. We're going to go ahead and ink that up also in the um, soft suede. Stamp off and then stamp onto our branches just randomly. One more at the top here. Okay. Now we're going to get our blossoms and the triangle part is actually the top of the branch and we're going to just ink that up using our in colors and uh, we're also going to use pumpkin pie and old olive markers. Uh, if you don't have the in colors you can always use your blender pen. Grab mine here. And what you need to do just squish the ink pad into the lid and then it creates a little um, pool of ink there so you can use it like a marker. Get my scratch paper back here. Just randomly color the blossoms however you prefer and I'll be back when I have that done in just a moment. Okay so I've just finished coloring in the blossoms in the colors I mentioned and we're going to use our stamp -a jig because I want to make sure my blossoms are on here straight. So, and remember that the triangle um, blossoms are at the top there. Up on there. And I'm just going to give our stamp a little huff. Okay, stamp it down. Okay. Now what we're going to do is take our bird from uh, the same set and on a scrap piece of Whisper White um, we're going to ink that up in Rich Razzleberry okay. now we're going to cut that out with our paper snips 
just cut right along the whole thing. Just leave a little border of white, and I've already done that to save on time. So we're going to use our dimensionals. I'm going to use a little piece of a dimensional and just pop that up a little bit. We're going to put that um, on the bottom branch here. Okay, just so he's perching on the bottom branch. Okay, we're going to layer that onto a piece of um, crushed curry that measures three and three quarters by two, and then we're going to layer that onto a piece of rich razzleberry that measures four by two and a quarter. Before we layer these on, we're going to use our distressing tool and just rough up all the edges. And if you don't have a distressing tool, I know a lot of people use their fingers and just scrape it up. So I will be right back as soon as I have that done. Okay, so I've finished uh, distressing all three layers and I adhered them together here. And then I also, along the left side of the card, I added some sticky strip because our bird is gonna get attached like this. So, um, but before we attach this, I am going to add some ribbon. The polka dots and, and uh, just the color, just so pretty. So I'm gonna go ahead and tie that. I'm gonna have it facing me. I don't think I can tie it upside down. Now there's just a little bit of a trick to just getting the polka dots to stay on the outside. So because it is uh, one-sided, so you have the option of uh, having a solid. Just give it a little twist as you're pulling it. We'll go ahead and trim the edges here. Now we're going to go ahead and peel off our sticky strip and attach our bird and I like to, you can do it however you'd like, but what I like to do is kind of tuck the corner of that ribbon there just uh, just over the tip and then line the corner up at the bottom along the, uh, the opening line and so it opens like this. The last thing we're going to do is you need a piece of crushed curry that measures 3 eighths by 2 and 1 quarter and we're going to use a sentiment from the Teeny Tiny Wishes stamp set, which has loads and loads of just different sentiments. Um, and I'm going to use my Stampamajig because it's such a small area to stamp on. I want to make sure that I get it accurate. And I've gone ahead and prepared my Stampamajig. And you're going to do it in the center of the, the crushed curry piece. And we're going to ink that up in the soft suede. This out of the way. Now what we're going to do, and close up my ink, what we're going to do is take our word window punch. What you do, you just kind of wiggle this in between your stamp, or between your, your punch edges there, and when you have it pretty much lined up, you just give it a snip. Of course I bent that one because I'm on camera. And then we're going to use our paper piercer and just give a punch right in the center there, between friend and, and the edge. And I'm going to use a couple of um, other embellishments. I'm going to use the felt flowers from our Accents and Elements, which has tons and tons of uh, felt flowers in there. And I'm also going to use the rhinestone brad from the Pretties Kit, the tiniest one. And we're just going to layer that on here. Put that through here. And we're going to have to give a little snip to one of the um, prongs of the of the brad and I'll use my craft and rubber scissors for that. Snips it real easy. And the final thing for our card is just to, oops you saw my boo-boo. <laughs> the final thing is just to adhere it to um, just the whisper white edge down there on the stem, however you like it. So there you have it and here's our our one that we use as a sample. So and I didn't have time to do the inside but this would be a piece of whisper white measuring four by five and one-fourth and then you can just use the sentiment from the bird on a branch stamp set uh, stamp a couple of um, branches down there and I look forward to enjoy stamping with you again soon. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.